Hi there, my name is Mark McPherson. I'm the Artistry and Education Executive for Napoleon Purvis. Today, in collaboration with Active Skin and their Make Over campaign, I'm going to show you how to recreate this five minute makeup look. Let's go. Firstly, we need to hydrate and plump the skin. I'm using two to three drops of the Napoleon Complex Skin Renewal Serum to soothe, protect, and prep my skin. Next, primer. To help your foundation for its longevity, I recommend our bestseller Autopilot Pre Foundation Skin Primer. You can apply this product with your fingertips to your T zone and then blend out to cover the rest of your face. To even out my skin tone, I love a medium coverage foundation with a silky finish. So today I'm using the Advanced Mineral Makeup in Look 2. Using a damp Napoleon Purtis Let's Pounce Beauty Sponge, I will apply the majority to my T zone and then blend out. My go-to concealer is the Pro Palette Concealer Plus. With three colours to mix and match, this trio will last you all year round and cover everything from pigmentation to dark circles. To set my liquid foundation and concealer, I'll use a touch of the Camera Finish Powder Foundation in shade N2 Natural and the Powder Brush S25. I like to press this powder into my skin rather than swiping it, focusing the majority of the product through my T-zone. For a natural look, I like to leave my cheeks bare to get that glowing and silky finish from the Advanced Mineral Makeup. Next, I want to add colour back into my skin, but in all the right areas. Using the Ultimate Contour Palette, I firstly sculpt and contour my face with the bronzer colour. Using a Reflective Contour Brush 20B, I gently sweep the product around my forehead, temples, around under the cheekbones and jawline. Always remembering, blending is the aim of the game here. Add a pop of blush on the apples of the cheeks, sweeping up and out to elongate the face. Switching now to a blending brush, I like to add a little bit of our contour colour to the sockets of my eyes and down the nose. With your blending brush, add a little highlighter to the tops of your cheekbones, cupid's bow, nose and a little on the eyelids to catch the light. Now my favourite part, eyebrows. I like to keep them as natural as possible, so just filling in the gaps. Brushing them up and out with a 2M mascara wand, I can see a little gap towards the end. I'm going to use the eyebrow pencil in brownie, which is one of six new shades to the range. Use short flicks to mimic your eyebrow hair, and don't worry if you apply too much, we can always go back in with a 2M mascara wand and blend the product through. To give my brows a neat finish, I like to apply the Wonder Brow in Brunette Beauty. Just a quick brush through gives them that polished finish. Lashes. It's a must for me to curl my lashes before mascara application. I love the Napoleon Curl Girl Lash Curler. It's a little wider to grab every lash in one go. Hold your curler over the base of your lash and pump three times. I like to go for a lot of volume, so today I'm using the Fat Volume Mascara. Another tip, always roll the mascara wand in its container and never pump. Pumping allows air inside the container and can dry out your mascara. Apply to the root of your lashes, zigzagging upwards. I like to do two to three coats to achieve maximum volume. I am obsessed with the new My Number One Limited Edition Nude Lip Set. I'm using two shades, Criminal and Insanity. Starting with the darker shade, Criminal, around the edges to outline the lips, then apply your lighter shade, Insanity, in the middle to create a soft ombre effect. Blend and ensure there are no visible lines. And there you have it, my everyday five minute look. Thanks for joining.